I have decided that rather than give you a load of serious nonsense all the time, I thought I'd try and chuck in the odd funny thing here and there, something I read, something I hear, to try and give you a little bit of amusement. One prime example was last night with the old Submariner story with the fart in the decompression chamber. Seemed to have gone down quite well. So here goes, here's something else. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right and you uh, like the old Betts hanger footage I put up just before. Well, this is something a little bit different and I shall just find it on the old uh, larger device I've got in front of me. Every now and again, I see some jokes and various bits and pieces online which I find amusing and I will bring them to you every now and again and see if you find them amusing too and hopefully it will bring a smile to your faces. So here goes. This thing uh, is an application for a job at B&Q. And listen to this. This is an actual job application that a 75-year-old pensioner submitted to a B&Q in Tunbridge Wells. And they hired him because he was so funny. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but it made me chuckle. Right, here we go. Name, Kenneth Way. Also known as Grumpy Bastard. Sex. Not lately, but I'm looking for the right woman, or at least one who will cooperate. Desired position. I thought he was going to say missionary or something, but it's something else. Company's chief executive or managing director. But seriously, whatever's available. If I was in a position to be picky, I wouldn't be applying in the first place, would I? Desired salary. £150,000 a year, plus share options, and a Tony Blair-style redundancy package. If that's not possible, make an offer and we can haggle. Education, yes. Last position held. A target for middle management hostility. Previous salary. A lot less than I'm worth. Most notable achievement, my incredible collection of stolen pens and post-it notes. Reason for leaving, it was a crap job. Hours available to work, any. Preferred hours, 1.30 to 3.30pm, Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. Do you have any special skills? Yes, but they're better suited to a more intimate environment. Ooh. May we contact your current employer? If I had one, would I be there? Do you have any physical conditions that would prohibit you from lifting up to 50 pounds? 50 pounds of what? Do you have a car? I think the more appropriate question here would be, do you have a car that runs? Have you received any special awards or recognition? I may already be a winner of the Reader's Digest Timeshare Free Holiday Days offer, so they tell me. Do you smoke? On the job, no. On my breaks, yes. What would you like to be doing in five years? This is a good one. Living in the Bahamas with a fabulously wealthy Swedish supermodel with big tits who thinks I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. Actually, I'd like to be doing that now. Nearest relative, seven miles away. Do you certify that the above is true and complete to the best of your knowledge? Oh yes, absolutely. Well, he got the job off the back of that and listen to what happened next. After landing my new job as a B&Q greeter, a good find for many retirees, I lasted less than a day. About two hours into my first day on the job, a very loud, unattractive, mean-acting Bogner Bay walked into the store with her two kids, yelling obscenities at them all the way through the entrance. As I had been instructed, I said pleasantly, Good morning and welcome to B&Q. I then said, Nice children you have there. Are they twins? The woman stopped, yelling long enough to say, No, they ain't effing twins. The oldest one's nine and the other one's seven. Why the hell would you think they're twins? Are you blind? Are you effing stupid? I replied, I'm neither blind nor stupid, madam. I just couldn't believe that someone would shag you twice. Have a good day and thank you for shopping at B&Q. 
My supervisor said I probably wasn't cut out for this kind of work after all. Don't know what you thought. Made me laugh quite a lot. Toodaloo! Thank you.